a little vapor out in here. I'm gonna spray it. It's uh, it's just a it's cover snoop, but it's got like an apple flavor. And I'll tell you what, these deer love it. We're gonna spray some around here and see if it helps us out. Now this year was tough. We had so many acorns. I mean, we just needed something to give us an advantage. I mean, you couldn't target one oak tree. I mean, everywhere you went, there were oaks. So. I got the Vapo out, you know, this is the first year using it, I didn't know what to expect. We were getting some pretty solid hits on it, so I thought, you know what, I'll, why not? I'm going to give it a try and see if I can get that edge and maybe get an arrow in a buck. When I get back in the tree, I'm going to spray myself down with it, and uh, hopefully it's enough for what it takes to draw a, a buck in so we can get an arrow in one. Man, that stuff smells good. Well, the Vapo trap was set, now let's hurry up and wait. I'm telling you what, this today it's been like a high of 40. I went to a, my daughter's cheerleading game today. She's a cheerleader for Little League football, and it was actually snowing. And we're hunting in West Virginia, northern West Virginia, so this is un uncharacteristic for this time of year. It still smells so good, I just want to eat it. Mm. This part of West Virginia where we're hunting, we're focused on three and a half, four and a half year old deer. I mean, you're looking at a 115 to 120 inch deer is what we're after. That's the trophy we're hunting. You're hunting benches. I mean, that's what the deer are using the easiest way around is to hunt the benches. And when I climbed up in that day, it was cold and it was windy for, you know, October. So I didn't know how long I was gonna have to wait. Usually deer at that time move a half hour before dark. And when I looked up after sitting in the stand for about a half hour in early season, and I see this deer coming down, I couldn't believe it. Now when I hung this particular stand, I was counting on the deer to move down the logging road. Deer are lazy, they're gonna use the easiest route they can. When that deer come down through there and just hit the brakes, turned his head and started right up in where I sprayed that vapor, I thought, oh my God, this stuff works. First deer I see from the stand comes in and I just laid him out right in his tracks. Awesome. Good looking eight point. The one I've been watching, just put him down. Yes. This is my first day actually bow hunting this year. We're in West Virginia and I couldn't be couldn't be happier. Been watching this buck for a while. He uh, He's got a real high rack, he's kind of tight. Beams aren't as long as I thought he was, but he is just a pretty, pretty deer. Probably a three and a half year old deer. Um, just tickled death with him, dropped him right in his tracks. I mean, where we're hunting at, we're hunting mature deer. Not every one of them is gonna be a 140 or 150, but when we get a chance to take a, a deer like this with probably eight inch G2s and real good brow tines, we're gonna take him every time. But uh, tell you what, awesome hunt the opportunity presented itself and I was able to, to make a shot on him and drop him right in his tracks and tell you what just tickled to death with him and this whole experience. It's been a been a tough year. Last year I broke my leg and my hunting was limited and finally getting a chance to get back after it in 2014. I've already taken a nice buck in South Carolina, scored mid 130s and to come up back home to West Virginia and Pennsylvania and start our season and I was able to take him the first night out. Now we're in West Virginia, so I still have another buck that I can take with a bow, and I can take one with a gun, and then I still got my PA tags plus all the other states that we hunt. So, game on TV. We're on a tear right now, so just keep watching.